What is going on, guys? Are we live? Can you hear me? I don't even know if we're live yet. Um, we are live. What's going on? Uh, I just thought I'd quickly start the video by uh, showing you some of my work and uh, just plug in my new masterclass uh, one, which is, uh, I haven't done one of these in a long time. So the first masterclass I, well, the first course I did was about two years ago now, I wrote that, um, which is more beginner based. This is more like technical and I'll take you through a seven plus hour masterclass video um, on exactly how I tattoo. There's loads of tips and tricks in there. So I thought I'd just shamelessly plug that because um, it's literally going to be out Wednesday next week, um, which is the 6th, I believe. Um, yes, the 6th on Wednesday. It's probably the most informative and affordable uh, course, masterclass, whatever you want to call it, on the market. Um, 100%. And I actually show you how to t tattoo and it's not just time lapses. Because that's absolutely ridiculous when people charge thousands when you're just showing them time lapses, like fucking hell, give them some real information. So, so yeah, if you want a tattoo like this, then let me know. Please hit my DMs up on Instagram, and I can show you some more. It's not even on my website yet. Um, so, so yeah. Let me just have a little look. What's going on, scars? We've got twelve people in the in the old chat. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So that's my. Uh, my old page. This is a little thing. This is quite cool, isn't it? The little video. It's quite cool. We've got some nice music on there. Let me, yeah. Uh... Sick. Uh, yeah, go check that out. But yeah, I thought, do you know what? I thought I'd uh, start this uh, part five of this because I do like this series. I do learn a lot from this series and I feel like every time I do this, I end up coming away from some, with some nice information. Um, so I've picked out a couple. Get in the comments as well. Get in the comments um, and let me know who you want me to have a look at because I'll have a look at the artist that you'll put in the comments. So, um, my guy, Yannick. Do you know what? I'm going to show that. Thank you very much. Uh, Daniel Derry, what's going on, brother? What is going on? Yeah, get in the comments and let me know who you want me to critique or have a look at. Um, and then maybe at the end of this show, um, I can then check some of your your guys' works out and uh, give it a, a bit of a critique if you want to do that. Uh, I'm going to try and do one of these a month, so or maybe two. Depends on... Smash a like on a video. Smash a like on a video. The more likes, the more I'll, I'll do this often, I suppose. If you want this type of video, then I'll do it if you smash that like button. Um, Wait until this masterclass starts. Yeah, dude. Um, you can buy it now, but it's going to be out on Wednesday. But you, when you when you buy it, you're automatically um, once you've sent your number in, you can you're then pushed over to my exclusive tattoo members WhatsApp group. There's only 50 spaces, by the way. So if you do want to jump on this masterclass until the uh, until the next one's out, maybe in a year or two's time, I, I'm not sure. Whenever I write it, um, then. Yeah, like there's going to be another 50 spaces. So gradually we'll we'll build a really, really cool com community of, of people that want to actually learn and not just kind of happy with where they are, you know, because I've got such a drive to, to try and be the best I can possibly be. Um, so, yeah. So let's have a look. Um, we have Elias Barante. Sick. Right. So first of all, I've got three uh, artists here that I wanted to have a look at. And um, I'm just going to reload this page. Because this is very, very good. Here we Oh, my God. That's bloody zoomed out. Let me zoom this bad boy in. Whoop. Here we go. So what we've got going on here, we've got some color work. Some colour work. The artist is Vivian Calvo. Let me just check the page out. May as well give her a plug. Or him. Could be a him. Oh, she's live now. Tattoo artist from Spain. 
if I understand Spanish. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, Vivian uh, Vivian Calvo Tattoo. She's got 340,000 followers. That's crazy. She has very nice um, color work. Let me just zoom out again. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very aesthetically pleasing. She's got quite a different style about her, um, but it it looks sick. I like it. And she's got all these nice little close-up videos that I'm going to try and see what she is um, doing. So there's no music on there. So what I can see here, she, she likes to use... What am I doing? She likes to use... Um, She likes to use smaller mags because she, she does a lot of small small work. There was a big mag there. Why can't I bloody... What is going on? Here we go. There we go. That there looks like a seven. I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to see. Doesn't look like she uses curved mags here. Doesn't look like she uses bug pins either. These look like a standard size needle. You can tell by the let me just you can tell by the width of the individual needles. They're quite thick. And that's a 0 0.35. So you're gonna look at that and and that maybe looks like a bug pin. You can see the width of the needles compared to like others. Like them. They're thick, you know. Um but yeah, that's a seven. That's probably a nine. That looks like a 25. You can see her technique. She's not going all the way in the skin. She's hanging that needle out, which is the best technique to use. She's hanging it. She's hanging that needle out. You've got so much more needle control when you hang it. <laughs> you hang that beast out, man. That's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, let's have a look at another couple. Because uh, she's got some nice work here, man. Hard to ah! Copyright. Wow. That is red. That's the thing. Uh, working with colour, for me, I like working with colour. I do like working with colour. No, I don't. I don't like working with colour. Sorry, I don't like working with colour. Because it's messy as hell. But she makes it look super clean. It's just constant wiping. Um, as soon as... I feel like different different uh as long as you've got a good stencil you don't have to wipe too much because with color it's very thick you have to wipe it a couple times for it to come off of the uh the skin and then obviously the more wiping you do the more the stencil the more chance the stencil is going to wipe off so if you've got let me stick this pop filter on my uh on my um it's feel like it's very poppy you know um so yeah <laughs> it's better right you can't see my face now. Um, but <laughs> I can't have this. What is going on here? Uh, so, yeah. So, basically, yeah, color, like, if you've done, it depends on the, like, re color realism is so hard. And it's so hard because um, it's hard because, am I turned all the way up? No. Hello, hello, hello. That's better, isn't it? Um, yeah, so color, re color realism's hard because you can't... Out like, where she's lined her stuff, like, is al there's already a line there to go to, so it's not even... It doesn't matter if it's, if it's messy or it's hard to work with. Um, but, yeah, this looks... It's very sick. She's digging that in. She is hanging that in. She's probably pressing most of that needle in, but she is, she hasn't she's she's not she's actually riding a tube there. I can tell, um, but she's not she's not pushed the needle out too far, so she's definitely hanging back on that needle. Um, I like these videos though. I do like these videos. Here we go. There's another one here. She uses a particular set of needle brand, and I'm not too sure. Oh, that was a good, that was a good little bit there. So she uses, so the technique she uses, that's really clean, man. Super nice. She's very, very, very good at 
good at blending color. See that? See how gradiented it, it is. But yeah, you can see her technique. It's small circles. It's exactly how I pack color in or black in. It's exactly how I do it. Um, small circles. There you go. Very, very, very good. Real good. Literally two millimeters into skin, which is the optimum depth that you want to be using. And it's, uh, yeah, it's very good. Very, very, very good work. We'll, we'll have another video. See if we can get another one in there. Ooh, we got some line in here. We got some line in. That is hang. Look at the hangage. That's a Shea needle as well. I hate Shea needles for uh, lining. Looks pretty solid though. Dude, look at that. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Defo bug pin flat. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think it's... Um, I think it's a flat mag as well. Ralph Nonwaller is someone to check out. Yeah, man, I've... Uh, he actually follows me. Um, yeah, he's sick. He's very sick. Please smash a like on the video, guys. It's only one likes. There's only one like on a video. No way. 17. Please smash that like button. I'll do more of these. Um, we'll try and go for an hour. Um, yeah, look how... That looks like a three-round liner. It looks quite tight, though. When you look at the line in the skin, that looks very tight. But she's using two here. She's using, she's using two sets of needles to to get this effect she's got a thicker needle here which maybe looks like a seven and then this one looks like a three a tight three but look how look look how much she hangs that shit out dude it's crazy this is what i mean though like you find your depth you hang it hang that beast out man hang the more hang the better <laughs> i need to relax man <laughs> But yeah, you've got way more needle control. Can you see in this part, you'll see this, the skin go wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy, man. I would probably tight, tighten the, uh, stretch the skin a tiny bit more, but I mean, it's going in, so it's neither here nor there. She's got a good page for this. She has low, I see what she's done. She's done like a thing where she does close up, then thing, close up, then thing. Then she goes, there's close up. She, she's got a great page to look at. I've seen that one. Wow. Yeah, she's sick. Ah, oh, yeah, she's sick. I hate the colors though. Too, too bright. I hate that red. Sick though. I hate that red though. Might look different on my screen though. Jesus Christ. Ah. Yeah, come on. Uh... Look at this, bro. This is a great video. Yeah, that's nice. She's packing that in, dude. It's hard, dude. It's hard to pack. Now, the machine she's probably using for this is um, anything over a four-stroke machine, you're good. The ink will get stuck right in there. Let's go back. Let's, do you know what? Let's go. Let's move on. Let's move on. So that was, uh, that was Vivian Calvo. Rate it. Rate it. Have you guys ever tattooed Victoria someone? Lee. This was, I, I picked this out because this is insane. Look how red this, I thought she was using red ink, but she's not. That's just how sensitive that skin is. Now I feel sorry for Victoria. I feel sorry, ma'am. Feel sorry for Victoria there. This way won't go so red. Does anyone can show Memoir red skin? Have you guys ever tattooed someone get more red than this client? This is the most sensitive it's skin insane. you have tattooed. Normally tattooing this way won't go so red. Do you see anyone that? anyone can show <sighs> Memo red. She's got a good technique, man. She's got a good technique. She's got that brush technique, the, the pendulum 
the pendulum technique that I use, I talk about in my course actually. Skin, have you got there? No, this is like a backwards thing that I also talk about in a masterclass. That's like a backwards motion, like a backwards drag back. That's a very, very, very good on the skin. Very like you build the layers up with that, pulling it back like that, banging. Just coming from look, look how smooth that is now. Look how smooth this is now. Like it's so good. Even eat. Even with crazy skin like this, it's still super smooth. I can't believe how red that is. That is insane. There's there's the brush technique. Whap, 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 whap. <laughs> but yeah, I I, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to point that out because that was crazy, bro. Crazy. I did some of these last time. I'm pretty sure. But I just wanted to. Uh, to thingy to point that out here we go we've got some good old coil machine smashing that in Woo. now this guy is cons cos costis costis giatos sauce <laughs> costis costis giatsos 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 sorry if i pronounce your name wrong man that's sick. The scars, dude. Wow. That is solid. Solid. Let's have a look at these. This internet is very slow here. It's all right. Where was that? Here we go. We've got a couple videos here. We've got this. Woo! That looks like a, sh a round shader. It looks like a round shader. And uh, it's very cool, man. Very, very good. Consistent hand speed all the way along. Same speed throughout the whole line. Consistent. And that is what I can't stress to you. I know I say it probably every video I do, even in my life. Same consistent hand speed. Here we go. Oh, he didn't reply. 19 weeks ago, look, he didn't even reply. And he replied to this. Well, I'll tell you, you know. Dark day, day is tattoo. Let me, just, let me just pull this over, look. I'll tell you exactly what he uses. Someone says, do you mind, ask, do you mind if, I, uh, if I ask what you're using here? Machine carts ink. So basically, what he's done, he says, these lines are so clean and not a lot of... E excess ink do you know what i'm so glad i picked this bloody this thing now so basically what he's doing right he's not overly dipped he's literally just stuck first excess skit uh excess ink when you go into the excess ink right when it when you put the the needle into the skin and it pulls out first of all you've probably dipped the end the plastic bit or you haven't wiped it off when you've come out of the ink before you touch it onto the skin. So you need to wipe it off. Just like when you go, zzz, get a bit of your tissue and just wipe it. Um, it's banging. The ink he probably uses, I have no idea. Could be any black, solid black, outlining black. But he's, he's definitely using a, a round shader for sure. I think he's using a, a round shader for these lines. It looks like that anyway. Um, cartridges, I don't know, man. I have no idea. But I know for a fact he's using a, a, round, a round shader. And he's probably using size-wise. Could be a 0 0.35 standard 9-round shader. I'd say a 9-round shader. Could even be an 11. It's hard to tell. But by the looks of his thumb and his finger size next to these lines, I would say it's probably about a nine. But I used to use a nine for most things like this and an 11. It could, it could also be an 11 though, depending. But um, yeah, I think that's what he's using. But yeah, excess ink. First of all, Vaseline. This looks like it's Vaselined up. You can see the skin here is uh, a bit shiny. So he's probably got a bit of Vaseline. Now it's gone, look. Probably got a really thin layer of Vaseline, which helps it bead the ink when it when you touch the needle into the skin. And also, 
like, see, when he lifted off, there was beads of ink. It wasn't a pool. It was a bead of ink. You'll see now. On this end here. Look at it bead. See it bead? He's definitely got Vaseline on the skin or some sort of ointment to bead that ink. And he's not overly dipped the whole cartridge into the fucking ink. So that's uh, that's definitely what he's done there. Has he got any more? Let's have a look. Machine is using a coil, just a lining coil, liner coil. You can see as well, he's hanging the needle out. He's hanging the needle out so he won't he won't get that pool of ink because he's not touching the plastic onto the... You can see there's a small gap between the plastic of the cart. Is he using... It sounds... He is using a... I didn't know you could have cartridges on a coil. That is insane. What? No, it can't be a coil. It's just clocked in my head. That is a loud, loud machine. Yeah, the tone of the tone of the machine changes when he sticks it into the skin. It's very, very, very thingy. Very strange. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's baffled me a bit. But yeah, it looks like he's using uh, another seven. Um, so, let's carry on going down and see if he's got any more. Don't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Right, let's have a look at the comments. Let's have a look at the live chat. You can get cartridge kits for, to for, for coils. Do you know what? I, I've seen one of them. Um, yeah, it just doesn't make any sense, though. Like, I don't, I don't understand. It, like, you... You, you you may as well just get a high stroke rotary machine. Do you know what I mean? Where you've got no you've got no give. Um, but I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, his works all right. His works all right. His lines are clean. I don't really like the dot work though. Not anymore. So have a look at the chat. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Yes, you can use cartridges on coil. Yeah, mad. Neo Tatch use carts. There you go. By the time I'm getting solid lines and packs. Yeah, solid lines, man. You just got to... It's all to do with depth. All to do with depth. Yeah. It's nice, man. It's clean work. It is clean work. He's definitely using... Let me zoom into this beat. What? This line's probably going to come out. All this is... Mm, he's definitely using round shaders. 100%. It's just kind of not going up to the line either. It's still clean work, but it's like it's little artifacts that you can see. He's not gone straight up to the line and stuff, but it is what it is. Like this part in here. Well, I don't know, because he's left this bit here. That makes sense. Right, let's have a look at the... Uh, Let's have a little look at some of your work, shall we? Or shall we carry on with some more people? I like that. I don't like this, though. Do not like that. He shouldn't be lying in that. He should be dotting that. Like he's done here. I don't know why he's lined it. Very strange. 
Yeah, it's not great. Anyway. Let's have a look. My lines went from arse to mediocre overnight. <laughs> Yeah, it could be day one. It could be so the so, the uh, the so, the sidewinder machines are absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I know Mickey Sharp's coils are really good. I've got a couple of Norm RIP Norm. I've got uh, two Norm machines, um, the Eric Masinazin ones because he's my favourite. Um. Yes, I am self-taught for life as I am self-taught. Um, backstroking. Yeah. Backstroking is the the one if you want to get some nice um some nice stuff in, you know? I think I might even have a couple of I might even have a couple of uh videos on here. If do you get what I'm saying, lads? No, maybe not. Yeah, look at this. A bit of stippling. Whip that shit. That was using a tight three on that rose. You can see the line work as well. It's pretty clean. This was years ago. 92 weeks ago. So that's like a year and a half, two years ago. I was using a tight three here. That's pretty sick. What else have I got on here? What's love got to do? Got to do with it. Some lining. We've got some lining. Get that lining. This is also nearly a year ago. Can't remember. Quadrant cartridge. This is when I first found out about quadrant cartridges. They were banging. See what see what I'm doing here though guys. Can you see? I'm not I'm hanging it. Solid. One pass. I'm hanging the needle out far and I'm getting This is a t this is a small this is a uh, a small needle as well. This is a 3 I believe as well. Tight 3 or a, it could even have, could even have been a tight 5 quadrant and tight 5. So look, hang, stick in find your depth and just try and keep the same distance between the skin and the needle nice consistent speed and then you got you got a solid line that's hard tattoo that was that was a hard tattoo um let's have a look at some uh let's have a look at some Yeah, I'm self-taught, man. It's uh, I but I was quite lucky with my journey because when I started my journey, I started um, I st this is really old stuff now. Oh my god, should we go all the way back? No. Um. Yeah, no. I I started tattooing and doing dot work because I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't, what's the word? <clears throat> I couldn't shade, basically. I couldn't shade. And, um, it was, yeah, it was very daunting to me. This is my, uh, Poseidon I did the other week, two weeks ago. Um, actually, I've never thought about doing this. Whoa, that's big. There's big. Have a look. Best advice ever. When you use a three-round liner, do, this is from Anna uh, Louisa. Hello, Anna. Uh, when you use a three-round liner, do you ever prefer to do one pass or build it up? I I like to do one pass because I, you can do both ways. Um, the build-up's pretty good, but you have to be quite. Um, you have to be quite. What's the word? You have to be quite. 
uh, precise is the word I'm looking for. You you have to be quite precise in the in terms of making sure you go back into the same spot you did. Otherwise, you're just going to see lines like this. Or, do you know what I mean? So you need to make sure you're. I mean, especially with like smaller smaller needle groupings. Look at this technique here, guys. That nice consistent. Brush technique that I talk about. Super, super slow, consistent. That hand is healed as well. That's healed pretty good, considering it's a hand. This is the backstroke I'm telling you about that we saw Victoria use. This is actually a sick video, man. Look at that. Look at that slow technique slow from the line slow that's how you get smooth shading man that is how you get smooth shading cross hatching it as well cross hatching is good that came out really nice, this, this uh, tattoo. He had quite ha harsh skin, but he was tanned. I think he'd just come off holiday, so that was why his skin was a bit red. I was like, oh. um, What keep you mo motivated to keep practicing and keep getting better? Because um, I can't... I, 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 love, I love tattooing as... I, I, I love tattooing as a game... You know, I love the game of tattooing, but uh, sometimes, you know, with ev everything that you're you're doing, it, it can get tedious. It can get tedious. Although I love this this industry so much, and I do love my job, I hate having the thought of going back to a nine to five job. You know, working in a factory or something like that. Um, and I'm a very creative person, and I get a kick out of. When I finish the tattoo, I get a kick out of seeing the tattoo and seeing my client's face like gas. Do you know what I mean? So, fake skin won't walk into the shop and ask for a tattoo. That's what my mentor always said. Fake skin won't walk into the shop. This is a seven, this is a 27. Zero, what is it, 25? That that needle was a seven, uh, I think it was a 25, 0 0.30. 0. It could have even been a 27. I, 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 I don't know, but I think it's, I, I'm sure it's a bug pin anyway. Yeah, take your time. I mean, I'm very fast with what I do. Yeah, muscle memory is massive in in your hand uh, from Carl Black. Muscle memory, like practice, that that's how you're gonna get super steady and and consistent with your with your work. When you tattoo, um, the more you tattoo, obviously, when you pull lines and stuff like that, depending on what kind of style you do, you've always got a chance that the more you do it, the more your 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 muscles will memorize what you've done you know what i mean so um i find when i don't line straight lines like i did a small tattoo today um, and i did like a little arrow it's like a line arrow here on the on a girl's wrist and when i was lying and i was sweating because i was like wow like 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 my hand like i've been tattooing for eight years and because i'm more into doing this and you know building up layers and stuff like that like i i, don't, I rarely line with small needles um and the more you do it the better you're gonna get you know um providing you've got that head to you've got a head on your shoulders that is gonna um be open-minded in in taking different sources of information and trying to just because there's loads of different ways to tattoo so it's it's always good to to be open minded and, and kind of pick and this is what I've done throughout my whole my whole career which is why I've got to a level I have now because I've picked I've worked with or I've seen well I suppose yeah I've I've worked with some of the best tattooists in the world 
you know, I'm very fortunate for that, but I will take certain things from different people and apply it in, to my own, to my own work. Look how, look how light that, 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 that tone is I'm doing now. That's just a, like pure, that's just, just the lightest thing. It's basically blood. But when you slow your hand speed down, it just makes it really nice. Um, right, so let's have a look at some of your work. Should we, should we, uh, lining is hard, lining is hard. You have to have a machine set up. You have to have your hand speed set up just right. Um, you know, it's again, hand speed versus machine speed. And that's what I talk about in my course. So, um, thank you, John Moore. I appreciate it. Uh, you have done so much to help beginner tattooist and anyone else. Thanks for taking the time. It's all good, man. Do you know what? I get a kick off of this shit, man. Like, I just get a kick. You shade on little, little stroke. I shade on a 4.5. This is a 4.5 stroke I'm using here, which is fucking mentally high. But because I... I drop my volts down, my hertz, I drop it really low, so it's good on the skin. But you can see how slow my hand is see how patterned my hand is um any tips on guest spotting so this is from cody any tips on guest spotting for uh, aspiring traveling tattooers just message studios man if your work's good enough they'll they'll be more than happy to uh to have you jump in um just message the studio send them some of your work and i'm sure you'll get a reply Shall we tattoo, shall we critique? Please critique Eyeshine. Do you know what? I will. I do like Eyeshine. He's a funny guy. Eyeshine Inc. Here we go. He's got smooth work. That is, um, that is a fact. I do like his work. I'll give him a follow. His design work's good. I do I do like his design work. I think I feel like he, he does um he does a certain style where he relies on the contrast, which is good because it makes it look better than say someone that puts loads of de detail in, in their work like Ralph. Do you know what I mean? Um I think it's I think it is good work. I do, I, I do like as well. He's super smooth, but again, he does lack detail for me. But it, I just love detail. It just depends on what you like. Um, like this is sick. I rate this. But his design work is very like he has things flowing into each other, which I, 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 I do like. Is this hand's really good? This hand's good. Very good. I like it. I do really like it. But like again, like some of this stuff here, I know it's like really small compared to the the other stuff. But he's just got a he's just got a particular style. Like like me, it's 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 very similar. It's very similar work. Let's have a look at close ups. Slow down. Jesus Christ. Yeah, see, look, the beard kind of thing, like all these textures here, I'm not a fan of. Um, it just doesn't look as realistic. Like I, I, I try and make my work as realistic as possible. But, but it's clean. It's very good. It's clean. This is better. This is better. It's smooth work. It is smooth work. I like how, how he uses... One thing I like about Eyeshine's work, right, is he uses light tones, which makes, again, it makes the contrast stand out. And that's what he relies on. Like, he uses a lot of ne negative pattern work and stuff like that in his work because it, it, it brings out the contrast. This rose isn't great around the back, but it's neither here nor there, isn't it? Like this, this, this is lacking detail. But it's it's clean, man. It's good, you know. This is sick. I love this. This is sick. 
I didn't know he had long hair. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 good work. It is good work. Critique AD tattoos. You done much traditional? I used to do a lot of traditional. My eyes are itching like crazy. It's clean, man. It's clean. It's clean. Just lacks detail for me, but I like people like. Matthew James, for instance. It's very, the design work is very trying to be kind of like this, in my opinion. Um, but this is like levels up for me because it's just what I like. It, like this looks super, super realistic. I don't know why it's doing this. Here we go. You can see the, this is more realistic, but he's got a, a very similar, um, he's got a very similar design process. Don't like that. See how it all kind of blends in together, like the sword coming down. It's a lot more realistic. It's not as smooth though. That's the thing. It's not as smooth as I Shine's work, but it's very clean. And he has more he has more shading. So when so this guy, Matthew James, right, he has he's one of my favourite artists of of all time. Um because of purely his design work. Like look at this, this is insane. Like you when you look at his piece, you see more things at like in there. Like there's a swan there, there's a girl, like crazy. I'll show you another example. This is all healed as well. All this is healed, I think. So look, there's a, a there's a boy seen here, blended in. It's like it's, it's crazy. It's very cool, very cool work. But um, the difference between Eyeshine and and Matthew da James, their design work is very similar. Matthew James blends it a bit easier, a bit a bit more blended, right? And another one is he'll use more tones within his piece. I shine or maybe use a light, a medium, and a dark. That's that's the difference. Whereas Matthew James will use medium lights, dark mediums. Like he'll use a lot more different different gradients within his work to make it look more realistic. And that's the difference. It's all just set up and stuff like that, but yeah, this is sick. Don't like this face though. Again, you can overcomplicate a design. Like this, like the rose here compared to Eyeshine's rose in a similar position. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's these kind of things that you look at. It's very smooth though. Look at this now. I don't know what he uses to take his vi his videos on, but I guarantee this in real life will look fucking loads better. Loads better. But yeah, let's have a look. Um, da -da 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 -da. AD Tattoos. Let's have a look. Who else? Vito. Oh, mate, I love Vito. Yeah, bruv. Vito's sick. He's dark. Vito, yes, bro. I love this guy's style. I love this guy's style. Is that on black skin? Looks like it, or Latina. Look now. One thing about Vito, right? One thing about V. One thing about Vito's work, right? Is he gets he's so clean. Every bit of shading is so fucking smooth. Even in the smallest parts, smooth. Look at this. Smooth, clean. This, smooth. All these little things. It's clean as hell. He pretty much lines everything. And then he'll he'll shade up to the line. Like, it's, it's crazy. And then the small details and the direction he gets in his tattoos. Like this part here. Insane. I love his skulls. There's so much directional flow in it. But it's not... 
it's realistic, but it's not as well. It's it's really hard style to try and critique. But it's so clean. It's so nice. And he still has the contrast. You can see the contrast in every, every, every tattoo he does. Like he puts darks where darks need to be and then he'll leave the light spots. Um, let's have a look at some of the stuff down here. I love his roses as well. I love his roses. So dark. And when you use a lot of dark dark and me and medium dark tones it will last longer uh in the skin over time just have a look at this the hands are hard to do as well yeah hard look at that so sick so much contrast sick this looks good Banging. Banging. So good. It's just, it's just so sharp. So sharp, so clean. I bet it takes ages. I've, t I've tattooed this as well. This reference. Sick. Sharp as hell. I've just got a super chat. What's going on? Let's have a look. Yo, I just wanted to check in before work. I'm a tattoo of two years. Uh, mostly line work and black work, branching into new things as I'm in a shop with black and grey tattoo. A huge fan, thank you for the art. Thank you very much for the super chat, bro. Donovan Lankford, shout out to you, bro. Good luck with everything. Um, what are you saying for things? I'm not even going to get onto him, bro. Thing is, tattoos. When you do it, let, let me just say this. When you do a, when you do a whole back piece in five or six hours, you know, less said, less said the better is what it is. Um, but that's this thing, man. Support the hustle either way. But if that's this thing, that's this thing. But I'm actually looking at artwork, you know. Um, that is mad. Look at this. Do you know what, like, like all this kind of flowy stuff in here looks sick, looks so sick. Lil B, yeah, sick. Elliot Coek, yeah, there's all these big, big names, man. Big names, big names. I love this. This is hard to do this. So when you come from black and then gradually, it's very hard to do that. Same with this kind of stuff here. This would be, Rock hard. Very good. Vito's probably one up up there for me for 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 one of the best ever. Love his roses. Love his roses. Look how smooth it is. Shit. Wow. Roses, man. Love his... I love his roses. I would like to get him on the podcast, to be honest. I would love to get him on the podcast. That is red. Papa Needles. Papa Needles. Tax Sciences. Los Angeles, I bet he's P, man. I bet he's absolutely P. Love his roses. So much flow within the sleeve. So much flow. I love it. I love it. He's up there, man. He's up there. Up there. Um, Lil B. I haven't, do you know what? I haven't actually, I haven't, do I even follow him? Yeah, of course I do. I haven't seen his work for ages. Two days ago. So he stipples. He's a stippling artist. He, I studied him for about six months to a year. Fun fact. And I learned how to stipple from him, basically. And I'm not sure if he's changed. But he uses... I can't remember what machine he uses now. 
I haven't seen any of his videos, but I'm pretty sure he used... I think he used like his own it's like a battery thing before battery things were even a were even a thing but i love how he gets detail in his work i love how light and, and and he uses a lot of different tones he uses the the medium lights the dark mediums within his stippling work to get the effect he does and he's probably one of the best at that um but is he worth five grand a day i'm not too sure bruv i could do this and I'm nowhere near that. But um, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's very, it's more the experience, isn't it? It's more the experience. I've actually, ta I've actually seen his work healed in real life and it heals so good. So good. But this just lacks a bit of depth for me. I would have actually overlaid this. I would have got a mag and just laid in a bit of dark shading just in here to just give it even more contrast but you you, you can do that with stippling you can stipple the cat look at this healed that's healed it's healed so good all oh, this is healed pretty sure it's all healed fucking mental this is insane insane i've seen that in real life sick yeah look like how he's done here how he's magged this in but it just depends that like not everyone wants the same thing, you know. Hard. Hard. Rate that. Uh let's have a look. Elliot Cowick. I like him as well. I do like him. I don't even follow him. Um I like his work. I'm not about to get fucking cancelled here, but I like his work, but I want to know how it heals. Because Arlo, you've seen, you've seen the, uh, the videos and pictures of Arlo's work healed and it does not look like it. And there's one as well who does a very, is it this one? I think it's Elliot, I think it's this guy. I think it is Elliot Coet. I don't think it heals very well. I don't think it heals very well, but it's sick. Look at the detail, the the whites. Sick. Let's have a look and see if we can actually find any healed work. Yeah, look. It's all very one-dimensional. Relies on the white too much, I think, in his work. Yeah, it looks good for a picture. But, I mean, you're paying for a heel tattoo, right? Not straight off the bat. This is sick. Is that healed? If that's healed, that's sick. If that's healed, that's sick. Yeah, it's 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 um, it's good. It is sick. It's very good. But I think I think it lacks something when it's healed, and I'm not too sure what it is. But I've seen a, a few a few pictures of of his healed work, and it's not great. Is this healed? Yeah, this is healed. This is sick. This is this is mad. Sick, healed. sick but every artist like you know you're not a hundred percent on the ball at all times that's healed that's sick rate it rate it man um yeah hands fell up sorry please smash the like like with it i think it's no anyway yeah it's sick he, he's very 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 technically good he's insane I rate his work he's up there he's up there I love that he makes like he's not super 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 smooth and that's what that's one thing that makes his work stand out to me um, but he saturates so well he saturates so well I bet he takes 
fucking hours to do his tattoos as well because he gets so much detail. And he does rely on the white a lot. And for me, I think you can use a bit too much white, but it's just, I like the kind of Chicano-y kind of just picking out whites. Do you know what? We haven't had Eric. We haven't had Eric, Eric Mussinis in on here and he's probably my favourite ever. I think he's fucking unbelievable. Some real. So smooth. He was quite light though, but he uses a lot of light tones. He he relies on a lot of negative space. That is insane. Look at that. So smooth, dude. So smooth. He just doesn't upload anything anymore. And I'm not too sure why. Again, unbelievable. So clean. He uses a mixture of techniques as well. He uses a bit of stippling. And he uses a bit of mag work. This is all mag. This is a bit of stippling. And I like that. I like that about his work. In here, he uses a bit of stippling, a bit of mag. I think he, I think he goes in with it a bit. Um, bit with stippling first to, to gauge. Like, this is healed, man. This is obviously fresh down here, but this is healed. Look at the roses, man. Working with this kind of tone and still make it look like it has depth is very, very hard. Extremely hard to do. Using a lot of light mediums like he does and then has the dark medium in here. It's very hard to do, guys. It's so hard. And then to have it heal like this. <sighs> Fucking insane. This is kind of like West Coast Chicano, fine line kind of realistic work. That's very light. I don't think that will last too long. That's sick, but it's, 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 it's fucking insane work. He's like my favourite ever. He's my favourite ever. I love his roses. Absolutely. Like the flow he gets with the leaves and like the positioning of everything. He's He's a master at positioning. He's a master... I would love nothing more than to just look over his 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 work um, or even just to get tattooed by him would be amazing. But yeah, I think he uses, I think he uses the, uh, I think he uses the um, Bishop One series now. This is healed. Insane. He uses Dynamic Ink as well. I think he uses Standard. He doesn't use the uh, the he doesn't use the triple black, but if he was to use the tri the triple black in these parts here, oh, his his work would be like it'd be very much like Vito's then because Vito uses dark black for his blacks. But again, like when it heals like this, you don't need to man because he uses so much negative space around. It just looks insane, man. It looks insane. Um, but yeah, please smash that like button. Please, please smash that like button. We have been going for nearly an hour. That's gone. That's flown by. Yeah, we've done Vic Victoria Lee, Brianna. We did that uh, um, back during the beginning of the show. Um, that looks really edited video. Did you see Thomas Carly Harley as well? Yeah, I follow him. He's a very, 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 very good tattooist. Very good tattooist. Um, right. So guys, just, just to finish off, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just going to plug the masterclass again because I've worked hard on this and, um, it is available. You can be in a private WhatsApp group. You can get my number. You can be in a private WhatsApp group with me. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can learn how to tattoo this kind of stuff. This is my work, and um, and yeah, you can. Uh, you don't need an apprenticeship. You can join the exclusive WhatsApp group full of artists that are in the same in the same boat. We can learn together. It's very affordable. Very good information. 
I've got one-to-one -one tattoo training as well if you want that. And um, yeah, just head over to my Instagram and DM me for details. Uh, all I'd need is an email address for you so I can send it over or I can send it over in, on, uh, on Instagram and um, we can get the ball rolling. Uh, there's only 50 spots for this. There's only 50 spots for this masterclass. It's called Masterclass One. I'll quickly go over it. This is uh, the reference we do. There's everything you've got in here. I, I, I've chosen a skull because it's uh, it's it's one of those things that I found very, when I started my tattoo journey, I found it extremely hard to, to tattoo skulls because it needed the smooth shading here and you've still got the texture that you need to get you need you need to achieve in like the cheek areas and stuff like that so that's why i chose a skull because it's because when i was during my my learning process it was one of the things that i found quite difficult so that's why i did one um but yeah this is a contents you got everything in there everything in there um yeah the uh the stencil um was very very hard to get off <laughs> so at least i know i'm good at stenciling but yeah Hey guys, if you do want this masterclass, then please head over to my um, to my to my Instagram at Oliver, and uh, yeah, we can we can smash um, a session out. We can smash ses a session out. But yeah, this is uh, me mid mid masterclass. Um, yeah, man. Big project as well, big project. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching the video. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in another one of these. Uh, let's try and get to 400 likes. If we get to 400 likes, I'll, sm I'll, I'll do another uh, tattoo technique talk. Um, but obviously with the mask class,